What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, today we're going to be doing a weapon logs review and going to be going over these Magneto commas. Now, before we get into the meat of the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing two giveaways between now and when I hit 25,000 subscribers. Um, leave a comment and a like on this video if you want to enter or any of the videos I post between that time. I'll leave more information down in the description for you guys to check out if you wish. But without any further delays, let's get into our awesome new weapons. So these are going to be Magneto Commas from 10th Degree Weaponry. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. Now these are awesome and they match my shirt, my turtle shirt with the green. And I've had them for a little bit of time now, a couple, uh, a couple days, maybe a week, maybe a week and a half. And they've been holding up pretty strong. The grip is perfect. It's similar to tennis grip, but it's going to be a lot thinner and easier to kind of switch through when you're spinning it around and doing other random stuff. Oh, I almost dropped that. Oh. Anyway, these are also going to be incredibly light and great for tournament use. These aren't going to be your combat um, weapons. These aren't weapons that you want to attack people with. Although, if you had to, I'm sure they would work just fine. They would work they would hold up to several hits. But the, that's not what these are made for. These are light, non-sharp uh, commas that will be used for tricking and doing practices and you know combos with if you want to check out how to do some i've actually already done some on the saturday uh tutorial series that so you can check that out i'll also leave links down in the description but these are super special because these are magnetic there's magnets in the middle of the comma that allow it to stick together that way you can stick it together and do tosses without it coming apart just like that and also works upside down like this so you can get cool uh, spins obviously you can get commas that are similar to these even the same color same design on the inside uh, without the magneto ability to it but the magnetic um, function of these commas allow you to do so many more things and so many more tricks that I just think it's amazing to have if you desire. One thing you gotta know and have to realize whenever you're buying commas, these things will not last forever, especially if you're using them for tricks and learning new tricks with them. When you drop them, uh, when you drop them on concrete, stuff like that, it will dent them. They're, they're aluminum, they're not, you know, steel or titanium or anything like that. They're aluminum, so when you drop them, when you scratch them, when you uh, throw them up to the ground, you know, stuff happens when you're practicing and they will get damaged. And so over time, it'll be a while because these are pretty well built, but over time you will have to buy another one. The plus side is that I have been a customer for 10th Degree Weaponry for a long time. And I know a lot of people that are also customers for 10th Degree Weaponry for a long time. And the commas, all they, although do break after long periods of usage, it takes a lot of practice a lot of hard training and years to wear them down where you need a new one. So it is something to keep in mind, but it's not something to super worry about it. However, if you are worried about it and you want to go to tournaments and use commas, my suggestion to you, get two pair of the same type of comma. So that you can use one as your practice one and one as your tournament one. Also, having two at a tournament is very, very useful because you don't know how many times... I've seen someone break a sword or break a comma before they compete and not have anything to compete with after that. I saw at the last tournament I went to, a kid broke his bow staff and didn't have an extra backup bow staff. I always bring backup weapons. My double staff, I always have a third extra staff with me at all times. I always have an extra pair of whatever weapon I'm using to compete because that is always important if you are interested in getting into the competition circuit. But that's going to be all for today, guys. I know these videos are always kind of short and sweet, but I like that about these. I figured I don't want to waste your time too much. So if you want to check these out, again, links are in the description. And like I said earlier in the video, don't forget to like 
and leave a comment related to this video if you want to enter into the giveaway. I'll leave more information down in the description, but the two giveaways, one's going to be on YouTube and one's going to be on Instagram. So if you want to get in either of those, definitely read about it down in the description. With all that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.